Hello everyone, welcome to our daily physics problem, day number 27. So today we have a ball of radius r and mass m, magically put into a thin shell of same mass and radius 2. The system is at rest on a horizontal friction surface initially, when the ball is again magically released inside the shell, it sloshes around in the shell and eventually stops at the bottom of the shell. How far does the shell move from its initial contact point with the surface? So this is a very tricky problem. It looks very hard, but it's actually simple. On your past video, try your own. Retry, come back to the video, and show you how I did it. So welcome back, guys. So here, actually, we only need to consider two things. First, the center of mass of the system. Second, the initial and final position of the ball and the shell. So we know the ball is dropped from this point to this point. And we know it, the shell is on a frictionless horizontal surface. So the center of mass have to be unchanged. So whatever the shift, horizontal shift of the center of mass is, that's how far the shell will move from the initial contact point. Let me repeat that again. The shift in the initial contact point with the surface is equal to the shift of the center of mass of the system. Okay. So let's solve for the center of mass of the initial position and the final position. Let's define this point, the uh, center point of M initial as O, then, and this distance is R, then M times 0 plus M times R divided by 2R will be equal to M divided by 2. Oh no, sorry, this one should be M divided by 2M be equal to R divided by 2. R divided by 2. Yes. And after it shifts to the bottom, we know the final center of mass, horizontal center of mass, would be just m times 0 plus m times 0 over 2m. That's just 0. So what is the shift in the center of mass? r over 2. So r over 2 will be our final solution.